people talk about it in lots of different ways. Spirituality, religion, mindfulness, meditation, yoga, states of consciousness. All the different terms that people use and as they share about their experience, it's unclear whether they're talking about the same thing or different things. There seems to be overlap, but there seems to be disagreement too. So I wanna set aside all of those distinctions, all of that jargon and focus on something very simple. Something that I learned from one of my Native American friends a long time ago. That spirituality is about the way in which we live. Spirituality, your spirituality, is about the way you live your life. It's about the person you are, the way you interact with others and develop relationships. Spirituality is about the way you work and the way you engage in work and in your community, the way you care for the environment. Spirituality is about every aspect of your life. Spirituality isn't primarily about something outside of ourself. Instead, it's about something in us. It's about who we are that animates us, that's life-giving for us. Yes, things like meditation and prayer and spiritual practices, they're part of spirituality. But the main part of spirituality, the whole of spirituality, is really about who we are and the way in which we live. From this perspective, it really doesn't matter what your belief system may be. Maybe you believe in God, maybe you don't believe in God, maybe you're not sure about God. Those distinctions really don't matter as much as the way in which you're leading your life. Is the way you're leading your life leading you to a sense that your life is meaningful? Is there a sense of purpose about your life? Are the values that you have for living, are those values things that you can find in your life that in turn make your life valuable? That's where the crux of spirituality really is for us. From this perspective, spirituality really is about things that are ordinary and extraordinary. They're ordinary in that it's about our day-to-day -day life. They're extraordinary in that spirituality has the capacity to help us transform those day-to-day -day experiences into something that's more, something that's richer, something that stays with us and leads us towards that meaning and purpose and value in life. Consider a moment, a time in your life that you would call spiritual, however you define that. Maybe it was a time when you were walking along a beach or maybe hiking in the woods and you found yourself connected with nature in a way that was comforting and quieting and peaceful and relaxing. Or maybe it was a time when you were holding a young child, an infant, and you looked down at that infant and considered the possibilities that life presented to that infant, all the things that that child could become. Or maybe it was when you were with your beloved and the two of you sitting together, being with each other, you felt that deep connection where it's as though the two of you became one presence. Or yes, maybe it was a time in meditation or in a church service or in some other religious setting when you found yourself connected with something beyond you, something that you're not able to put into words, or maybe something that you would call God. Whatever that experience was, think about it for a moment and consider how that ordinary experience, simply being there, took on a quality that was more than just being there because you experienced a deeper connection. In 1997, in November, I moved from Miami Beach, Florida to Tucson, Arizona. I made the move and I made it because life in Miami Beach had been difficult for me. Things didn't work out the way I had hoped. And I was moving to Tucson to start over. And going there, I wasn't 
really sure what to expect. I didn't have friends. I really was starting over from scratch. About a month after I got there, a good friend of mine came to visit with me and we drove up to the Grand Canyon. It was the week between Christmas and New Year's. And we were there hiking along the South Rim and realized that we were at one of the overlooks and we were the only two people there. And it was getting towards dark, getting to sunset. So we decided to separate, go a few feet from each other and just watch sunset over the Grand Canyon. I became aware of the wind as it was going through the canyon and the different sounds the wind made as it blew through and watched as the darkness started from the bottom of the canyon and rose to the rim as the sun was setting on the horizon. And in that moment, in that experience, I had a deep sense of peace. And with that peace came a sense of assurance that everything in life was going to be okay. That the choices that I made to move in that transition, which had me concerned, that there was no need for concern, that I could be at peace and confident that I made the right decision. And I left the canyon that day, taking that sense of assurance with me. And over the years I lived in Tucson, found that things really were well for me. It was a good place for me to be. That's part of how spirituality operates. It's ordinary, watching a sunset, experiencing a day with a friend. Yet there's something extraordinary about it that even more than 20 years later, I still can recall the feeling and the transformation that occurred for me in that experience. On this YouTube channel, I hope to share with you other aspects of spirituality from this kind of perspective in clear, simple to easy to understand terms and in a way that's relevant for your life, practical, and usable. I hope you find this helpful to you. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and be sure to leave comments for me so that I can respond.